Welcome to Better Living with Adrian. It's Monday morning. We're with Darren Campo again, TV executive and the author of Alex Details Revolution. Today we're talking about body language and how you can either accomplish a certain uh, goal or maybe counteract a negative vibe. That's right, because when we meet someone or have an interaction with someone, for the first few moments, most of the communication is nonverbal, has to do with the tone of our voice and our body language, the signals that we're giving off. So you have to be very, when you first approach someone, let's say you're trying to uh, return something to the store, you're asking someone on a date, you're going for a job interview yes. even, this first few moments are very important to be aware of your, your body language. So what do you do? Do you, do you, you say mirror the other person. Right. Is that always a good rule? Because I find I can be a little intense. Yeah. And, and... <laughs> I know, you're laughing at me, I know. But I mean, you know, the eye contact and the mirroring someone. Well, for somebody, like, if, if I were a more shy person and I were coming to meet you, I would say, well, Adrian's very charismatic and bubbly and I really want to bring my energy level up. And you'll respond better to that. If I don't do that, then you might sort of not, you know, I'm not catching your attention. Your approach probably works well because your energy brings people up. But just being aware of the other person's mood and trying to figure out an effective approach, whether it's mirroring or... Mm -hmm another approach is a good first step because I guess it's really all about being effective you know right. what do you do you want to be effective what are you trying to accomplish if you're in the position of say what I always use the word selling if you whether it's you're the one asking out of the date or if you are trying to get the job or if you're trying to return the dress or whatever mm -hmm. you know that's that's when you want to acquiesce and and give in to the other person's mood if you will right okay next step because we have one minute left you, posture posture you make sure your posture because a lot of times if you find yourself leaning back it's a little to resign, leaning forward too much could be aggressive. You want to be some a little bit assertive and keep yourself straight. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but one thing people don't know they're doing is they'll lean to one side, mm -hmm. and it m tends to indicate agreement with the person you're leaning towards. So if you're in a meeting or you're at your Thanksgiving dinner and mom's talking about something and you're leaning this way, you might be on her side verbally, but everyone can tell. Okay, so the last two things are your hands, and, and lastly, how do we get someone to open up their hands? You don't want to right, cross. So we all know times, this. You, so might you might, you might talk to that person for a long time, but if you just give them something to hold on to or some physical reason to open their arms up, it's quicker than actually getting them warmed up until the point they're comfortable and uncross their arms. So you don't want to say uncross your arms, but you could say, hey, you, you know, might say that. Could, right, works, I'm with but it, but that's not, but you might say, could you hold this or could you hand it to right. me? Then now they've Emotion opened up. Emotion will follow body language. All right, there's body language being successful with your body language with Darren Campo, and that's better living.